Hey Libra, what's happening? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you also could be dealing with a Libra. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Do not force it to fit if it's not your reading, it's just not your reading. All right, so Libra, let's jump right in. Let's see what messages pop out for you guys. Libra in love. If you want a tower reading, all the details are in the description box. All right, what is the challenge for my Libras in love? What is the biggest challenge that they're facing? We have the strength, okay? So you may have gone through a lot of challenges, obviously, right? And um, it's made you stronger, right? It's made you stronger. It's made you who you are today. Some of you guys, you have much thicker skin. You don't let anything bother you. Um, the strength is talking about, you know, really rising above, you know, what, what the universe has perhaps um, put you through. Um, the, the strength card is telling me, um, you could be dealing with the Leo, but there's something here that, I feel like it's still tugging on your energy and you may be trying to resist something. There could be something in your life right now that you're trying to overcome, okay? Maybe that you've overcome a lot, but there's still something here that could be affecting you and it's just why it could be showing up right now in the energy. Now, in a recent past, we have the two pentacles here. The knight of wands and the two wands. There's someone here at Libra in your life that has been very inconsistent with you. I feel someone that is playing... <laughs> I'm getting like just games. This is someone that's been in and out of your life. I feel like they go and they're gone for extended periods of time and then they reappear. And Libra, I just don't think you know what to expect from this person. You don't ever know what you're getting, but there really isn't much stability at all. In fact, I think this person um, brings instability to your life. There's a lot of back and forth with this person, very immature in energy. Okay, it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. They come in with passion, with charm. They say all the right things um, and then they leave. I feel like this person makes promises that they don't keep. So I feel like this is someone that maybe you've gone through some challenges with. And the strength card, this could be someone that you're resisting or pulling away from. Maybe they recently came right back in your life and you just don't know what to do with this person. There is some kind of indecisiveness here, and I feel like part of the indecisiveness could be the fact that they're indecisive about you, and you could be taking on this energy as well, and maybe trying to figure things out, how to move forward. Now, the current energy is the Hermit in reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you are dealing with a Virgo in particular. It could be a Taurus or Capricorn as well. There's someone that maybe you recently met, Libra. I almost feel like this person isn't your energy. I feel like there's someone that you recently met um, or you are about to meet, okay? Because there is something where you're coming out of this dark place, the hermit. You know, maybe you've been spending a lot of time with yourself, doing a lot of deep thinking, being on your own, isolated, solo. But you've had a time or a moment to really contemplate life, reflect on your experiences, what you've gone through, um, really taking time to go within, connect with yourself, connect with spirit, with source. And I think this has been a really good thing for you because I see you getting out of hermit now. And there's someone that comes in and I almost feel like this person um, may come across as someone who's very secure, very responsible, uh, a quality person, someone who means very well, and someone that is very consistent very different from what you've experienced in the past, okay? Now, this could be a new person, could be a past person. Some of you guys, you dealt with this uh, earth sign in the past, and now they're coming in, presenting themselves very differently. And I feel, Libra, you're in your head. You're thinking, do I trust this person? Am I ready? You know, there could be a lot of questions and things in your head, and you're just not sure because the Eight of Swords is that you're in your head about this nonstop. You're not sure what to think. You're questioning, you're, you're, you're getting your readiness. You're questioning if you can commit to this. You're questioning this person's intentions. Um, so there's a lot going on here. Let's see what's on your mind. Libra, on your mind is the Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel like there is a desire to invest um, time, energy, effort into some kind of opportunity. I do think you guys would love to experience love. And if the right person came around, I do think you, you would jump on that opportunity. However, there is something still, Libra, that you're moving away from that is still in your energy, something you're still dealing with perhaps um, day in and day out. Six of Swords, there's some kind of conflict. And I feel like part of the conflict could be an internal conflict or struggle that you're having with regard to a situation. And the Six of Swords can also be a situation that you've 
moved away from, but you and this person may have not fully addressed or resolved. So let's see what the um, foundation looks like. We're not aware of this. Four of Swords in reverse, the Lovers, the Five of Cups, and the Justice card. I do see a really strong connection coming in. I almost feel like you don't know that this is a, a really... <sighs> That this is your soulmate, perhaps. You know, the lover's card is here. So I feel like there is someone here that you took a break from. I feel someone that maybe you, you stopped talking to for a period of time with the Four of Swords. Again, it could be a new person, it could be a past person, it could be someone you have history with, it doesn't matter. But there's the energy of you taking a break from someone. And they had time to think, they had time to be on their own. There is an element of some kind of break. And I feel this break was very necessary because this is someone who's very emotional and wants to be emotionally involved with you. Um, the lovers, there is a decision that I think your person would like to make. I almost feel like the decision is yours, Libra, because they may feel like you're pulling away with the strength card. I feel like the ball is in your court. I'm also seeing this as someone that may have regrets about a situation from the past. Maybe the thing, uh, the way things were handled, something that may have been said, the way that perhaps you acted or they acted. There's some kind of regrets and wishing that something didn't go plan out that way so wishing that it hadn't been um it didn't work to, be, to to end on that note there's something here about the past situation that shouldn't have happened the way it was handled that shouldn't have happened i do think this person is going to eventually communicate with you there is a lot of overthinking with the four of swords and i feel like this person wants to say something so they could have taken a break and now they're wanting to get out of this uh, isolated energy they're tired of just thinking being in your head and now they want to talk i also see someone coming in toward you wanting to bring fairness there's a lot of um there's a desire to bring equality justice to do right to you to do right by you so whoever this person coming in could be a libra but there's definitely some kind of balance being restored in your life when this person comes in now, we do have the Page of Wands in reverse. We have the Two of Cups and the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like regardless of you fighting it, um, you know, of you doubting it, some of you guys are telling yourself, no, 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 and you're turning your back. There is a really strong connection that's coming together. And I feel like, Libra, there could be a little bit of a pulling away. Some of you guys, maybe you're just not as excited or as passionate as maybe you were about other people in your past. But I feel like there's something that you're having to maybe give this a chance because it does have the ability to bring a lot of happiness and love to your life and with the king of swords inversely but that's your energy there could be something you're having to find out that can make you feel um I'm getting at peace with moving toward this person. It could be something that you're afraid of or maybe you're afraid of asking or communicating. And that could be something that you're having to do in order to make this work, okay? Or in order for something to come together. All right, so let's jump right in. Let's get some clarity for you guys. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. One more good shuffle. If you want a personal tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. All right, give me the strength card. Three of swords. So it looks like, Libra, you've gone through a great deal of hurt and pain in the past, and it's something that you're still healing from. Now, whatever this heartbreak is, the three of swords, betrayal, something that devastated you, it's made you stronger, and it's telling me that. That's what the strength card is about. You've gone through something, and it's really, I feel like it may have, you know, torn you apart, but you repaired yourself. And a lot of you guys are still in the process of healing and recovering. And that is your biggest challenge. Take the time to heal, Libra. Because jumping into another situation or relationship without taking the time to heal and recover from your wounds, you're perhaps going to repeat a situation again. So give me the recent past. What does that look like? The magician and the high priestess. A lot of you guys were trying to manifest and create an opportunity with someone that just didn't want to be in a relationship the knight of wands that's why this person was acting that way in and out of your life this person did not have a a direction they did not want a commitment they didn't want to settle down and i feel with the high priestess there was a lot of things that were hidden from you a lot of unknowns a lot of you guys you know there's something here you wanted to find out about this person and you questioned why they were this way or why they wouldn't commit and you never got the answer so there was a lot of indecision there was a lot of going back and forth being unsure of what this connection would would bring you of, of you know how it was going to really move forward 
And the lovers in reverse, some of you guys, you turned your back on what was a really strong connection at one point. The lovers in reverse, you felt obviously this is your person, but there's something here where this person wasn't ready. And it's like if one person surrenders, but the other person doesn't, it's just not going to work. It takes two to tango. So some of you guys, you may have turned your back on perhaps a Gemini or this uh, a Pisces. It could be someone here that you really felt that was your person, but they just weren't in the place in their life to move towards you. So give me the hermit. A lot of you have been doing a lot of deep thinking. I'm getting a spiritual awakening underway. Five of Cups. There's a lot of disappointment. A lot of you are in your feelings and emotions at times. The moon. Because you don't know why you've gone through this. Some of you guys, you question. You ask yourself questions. You have um, questions about why you've experienced this. The, the moon could also speak about insecurities. You're no longer as secure as you were before regarding love or just trusting people. There also could be a lot of fears of um, love, commitment, right? fears of the unknown and that is something you're carrying because of a past situation um, of what this person may have put you through now there is an energy of someone coming in king of pentacles and i feel like you're in your head about this you're fighting it there's someone that actually wants a victory with you they want to achieve greatness they want to um they want your attention they want to be seen they want to win you over and i feel like there's a lot of friction five of wands it's like you're pushing this person away you're not giving them a chance you're not allowing them to come in you're saying no 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 i'm not ready this is not for me you're not you know what i mean i feel like a lot of you guys are pushing a love opportunity away now in your energy is a six of swords and eight of pentacles yeah, there's a beautiful opportunity coming in. I even feel like this opportunity, if you actually give it a try, Libra, it's going to really, it's going to kickstart things in a new direction for you. Ace of Wands, this could be um, someone that you're really going to have an amazing, amazing connection with. Great chemistry. This could be a lot of physical attraction, uh, magnetic attraction. Things can certainly happen and unfold very, very quickly if you allow it. But the star card is here. So I even feel like this person is coming into your life to actually help you heal or help you better heal. Heal from some kind of childhood situation, childhood wounds, uh, past relationships. There's an opportunity to heal. But also I'm seeing Libra, you're having to have faith. Have faith that something is finally going to work out. You're finally meeting the person that the divine wanted you to meet and be in your life for the long term. I feel like a lot of you guys, the, the star is also telling me that there could be a situation where you're finally, if you if you really believe in it, it can really manifest wonders for you. And it could be everything you ever dreamt of, right? The star is that, you know, something very special and um, unique, something that you've never experienced. So this could be an Aquarius that comes into your life. Now, give me the Four of Swords. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like someone here um, is is in your life still. And I almost feel like it could be a past person that you're still connected to in some way. This could be someone that you've taken a break from. I feel like they're not really investing in the connection, but they're still energetically connected to you. I feel like this person is lurking. They're strategizing on a way to get back into your life because they feel like they've missed out. There's a lot of sadness about a past situation, the way things uh, may have happened. Now, give me what's coming in, though. I feel like, you know, there's obviously a new opportunity coming in because we have the Five of Pentacles and Verse, the Eight of Cups and a Fool. A lot of you guys, there's an energy of like waiting, waiting to get out of the cold with someone. But what you're realizing is that what you're having to do is just walk away from it. Eight of Cups, walk away from something that is no longer serving you. Because look what comes in, a beautiful new opportunity. This could be an Aries that comes into your life. So instead of feeling like, oh, I'm in this place of lack, oh, I'm missing this person in my life. This is why I'm sad. This is why I am not happy because this person is in my life. Get out of that mindset. The, the Eight of Cups is walking away from a situation that no longer is fulfilling for you and going toward your Ten of Cups or happiness. And when you do that, you're attracting a beautiful new opportunity card, a new opportunity, the full card into your life. And I think that that's what you're having to focus on, not focusing on the past, on what was, but really living in the present moment. And when you're living and being present, opportunities are coming in so the justice card there's definitely a person that's going to make everything um feel i'm getting just this is someone that could be bringing justice to your life finally balance right uh it feels like this is someone that is all about reciprocity equal give and take and I feel like this is someone that you can honestly invest in for the long term. I mean, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This can really come together, but if you allow it, okay? This can come together if you allow it, okay? Because I feel like this is someone that you can invest in and it could really um, 
again, you know, this could be a long-term relationship. Seven of Pentacles, investing for the long-term, a future, building a home together. The Four of Wands is telling me it also could be um, someone you can end up literally getting married to, but you have to believe in it. And the biggest challenge for you guys is also Four of Wands in verse, you know, creating that stability in your life so that when this person comes in, they're just adding to that stability, right? You're not relying and being a codependent on that person for that. So I feel like there's definitely a beautiful connection coming in. The Two of Cups is here. A lot of you guys, you don't see it. You're in your head still, but I see a lot of the fears going away. Um, the Nine of Swords is in reverse. So if you've been in your head about this, fearing love or feeling like you're never going to get the love that you want, um, you know, there's the energy of moving away from that, finally letting that go and not letting that take over your 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 fear and your, you know, that space in your head. I do see you guys going and leading um, up to this Ten of Cups. So this could be someone that's making you very happy. This could be a family situation. This could be you finally getting your cups filled, right? And um, I really think the Page of Wands and Verse, there could be someone that you're pulling away from. Someone that has been um, bringing a lot of conflict to your life. I feel like, Libra, there's a decision you're going to be making to maybe pull away from that and no longer give to that situation energetically or effort-wise um, because they just bring conflict to your life right so i think that that's part of it you know if you really want true love if you want the love that you've been wanting and praying for i do see you having to make big decisions pulling away from situations that don't um, serve you any good and moving towards your ten of cups because that is the goal all right so libra that is what i have for you guys like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you are aware of when i upload these readings you don't want to miss out you guys all take care